It's here. It's finally here. <laughs> Yo, everybody, this is Robert the Great, aka the Toy God. <laughs> and in today's video, we are going to be doing a toy review of the greatest Black Series figure to ever come out, ever. And this was sent in by someone to my P.O. Box by Robert. Thank you very much, dude. He uh, he was watching the videos. He's a fan of the videos. He knew I was searching for this. He found one, and he's he said in a live stream that he was sending on my way. And oh man, it's here, and I cannot be happier. So, in true Rock of the Great fashion, let's open this guy up. That is the way you're supposed to open these toys. All right, so here we go. Here's a tray shot. My channel members know that I always give a tray shot for you guys. Now, I have to say, this is considered a deluxe. Hold on, is there tape? Hold on, let me get, let me get this out. All right, so this is what they consider a um, deluxe figure. I do not think this is worth $30. I think it's a really funny joke. Hasbro tricked everybody to get it. to for everyone pay $10 extra for the most hated fit uh, like character of all Star Wars lore besides Rose Tico <laughs> and I just think it's so funny. I cannot believe this is $30, but let's go over the accessories. So we only have three accessories. We have that that energy ball baton thing, we have the energy shield, and then we have a staff that you plug in to make it because it, it's very long. Okay. And there's really no shading or anything on here. It's all just plain plastic. Um, again, not worth the deluxe $30. Um, definitely don't think it's worth that. Here we are with the figure. Now, I am an actual Jar Jar fan. I, the Phantom Menace is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. I love Tatooine. I just love the whole vibe of that movie. A lot of people don't like it. It has Darth Maul. It has Liam Neeson. It's like there's so much stuff to like there. I, I really just don't get why everyone doesn't like it. And uh, besides like the the outdated CGI, I would like I would actually like to see them redo the whole CGI, just like basically redo the whole movie. I think it, you know, with today's even Battlefront 2, you know, for PS4, like that CGI on there makes the battle droids and everybody look so much better. So here we are with the figure, and I have to say, I, I got what people were saying, like it does have a different feel to him. Um I like that he's very loose, but not like loose, like he's he he articulates well. So he's got the double jointed knees, he's got the thigh swivel, thigh cut, which is very important. Uh, he's got decent range of motion, he could sit all the way, very good. Uh, he has good feet rangement, like rangement, I've never heard that, that's a new word. His feet go up and down, he's got the ankle pivot, very good, very good articulation is up here, he's very articulated. He has a vest on, so you know what? I will count that as a accessory. He's only got single jointed elbows. I really think they could have did double jointed elbows. His arms are like big enough for it. He has a really nice hinges at the wrist, and his neck is like probably one of the coolest parts right here. Now, a lot of people were saying they wish they got two heads. They wish he came with a silly head and the serious head. I'm glad he comes with the serious head, but like everybody, I would have liked the silly head because when you think of Jar Jar, Misa thinks of silly. So uh, I'm really happy. Um, just, I'm really happy with this figure. And, uh, you know, obviously someone sent it to me, so that's even cooler. But I'm just like really excited. This thing is gonna stay on my desk. I really like the Phantom Menace. I'm definitely gonna watch it soon now because of this. And uh, let's actually compare them with the other Phantom Menace figures. Um, let me see. We have Obi Wan, Obis. We got Darth Maul, Darthies. Yeah, Darth Maul's a very he's he's a shorty, yo. Darth Maul's a shorty. And then this figure that was really hard to find for me. Qui-Gon Jinn, Liam Neeson's. Wow, look how good this, look how good these figures, man. Listen, hate on Lucas all you want. Anything is better than Kathleen Kennedy. Come on, guys. Look at this. You guys were spoiled. You guys were all spoiled. I got into Star Wars late. I didn't grow up with this stuff. So, you know, you guys really didn't know what you had when George was still making the movies, you know? Um, look at these. Look at these figures, man. He's perfect height. I'm just really excited. I'm digging them. I'm I'm still waiting for Qui-Gon to get an archives, archive series remake. Yeah, I, I guess that's it. I guess there's really nothing else to talk about. This is Jar Jar. Are you guys gonna pick up a Jar Jar? Do 
Do you like Phantom Menace? Do you like Phantom Menace? Do you like, like, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Uh, do you think I'm crazy for wanting this Jar Jar? I'm really excited. Do you think they're, Star Wars is going to make an archive line of Qui-Gon Jinn? You think they're going to do the archive series? He, his head definitely needs an upgrade. Um, I would like to see the, they start doing tan, they never do the tan bodies. Everyone was really tan in Star Wars because they're on sun planets. And I think that's why the, the sculpts look a little weird sometimes or the figures look weird because you need to make them tan. These people were tan during filming. So um, that's it guys. This is Rock of the Great, AKA the Toy God. Cha-ching, bada bang. Definitely check out my live streams, check out my uh, toy hunts and I'm gonna go play with Jar Jar now. Misa really happy. Misa say thank you. Bye bye. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just wanna toy hunt. I just wanna toy hunt. I just wanna toy hunt every day, every day. Toy hunt is great. I just wanna toy hunt. I just wanna toy hunt. Ah, I blew it. Ah, I'm